Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you the differences between how apps look on the iPad Pro 11 versus the 12.9. So besides the obvious size difference, uh, the resolution is actually also different. So this is 23, 88 by 16, 68, and this is 27, 32 by 20, 48. The pixel density is the same at 264 ppi, so everything still looks very sharp. Now the colors here may look a bit desaturated, that's because I have a matte screen protector on it. Um, other differences um, would be the weight. So this is 643 grams, this is 473 grams, so this is significantly lighter. and. We don't have uh, cases added on yet, so that's going to make this even heavier. All right, so let's jump into the differences. So this is the home screen. So we can see that with the 12.9 inch, we have more space here for the widgets. And the spacing between the icons here are uh, larger. But other than that, we still have the same number of icons on the home screen here and here as well. And same number of icons here at the bottom. So let me just turn this around. And they look pretty similar except for the spacing. So we still have the same number of icons and same number of rows and columns on the left and on the right side. So let's jump into looking at some web pages. So this is the Guardian website. Um, I see some minor differences. So uh, because the PPI is the same, so everything still looks very sharp. But here we can see the image is much larger and we can see a bit more of the content so here at the bottom here we see some of the stories the headlines they are cropped off and i also see some layout differences uh, design differences that's due to the website design so it really depends on how the websites choose to display their pages when uh, depending on the resolution and I see some white space on the left side and on the right side here. And uh, white space here is less. All right, let's go into a story. So here again, some visual differences between the layout. We see this sidebar here and there's no sidebar there. The story uh, the width of the story seems to be wider here but because of the sidebar the width here is actually uh, less but we see more of the story here and the story is cropped off here but the picture is actually bigger on the smaller ipad because there is no sidebar and the size of the text um, actually looks the same so the reading experience is going to be pretty similar because the headline, the size of the text is going to be uh, the same. Let me turn this around. Okay, so here the difference is more obvious. So we can see a lot of the page is cropped off. We still have three columns, but a lot of the story and the photo is cropped off but here we can still see the whole photo and we can see part of the story let's go to another website so this is new york times um, the design looks pretty similar uh, but on the 12.9 inch which has more resolution we can see more stories here so the stories that are at the bottom here they are cropped off the size of the photos they look um, pretty similar so it's just a minor design differences we have a white space on the left and right side 
and the size of the text and the headlines um, they are pretty similar so the reading experience as in how legible the text are it's going to be the same so let's uh, let's go into a story and see the differences by the way this is the ipad pro 2020 and this is the 2018 ipad pro okay so this looks like a flowing story let me just go to the top again so for this particular story the layout is actually very similar just that we have white space on the left and on the right side here with the 12.9 there's more resolution to squeeze in more content so you can see more here oops so this is a very short story let me go into a different story right so this is a very typical uh, New York Times story we see a lot of white space on the left and right side so the white space here is smaller but the size of the text and the headline is still the same so there really isn't much uh, difference here as well yep not not a lot of difference let me just turn this okay so now we have the story vertical okay so again it's the main difference really is the white space on the left and right side of the story so more white space here less white space here and let me scroll to this picture here so the picture is actually about at least for these two pictures they look pretty similar in size okay so for these two pictures um, these are obviously much larger you can compare the height but the text uh, similar in size these two pictures similar in size and here at the bottom we see more content here because there is more resolution to show more content and now let's compare the files app so on the 12.9 i see a lot more white space here at the bottom which means it's going to be able to show me more files compared to the 11 inch the size of the text for the file names here they are the same and for the details of the file such as the date and the file size they are on the side on the right side in this case and here the details are below each file name and i can see the icons for the different views here they are shown all of the all the three are shown but here you have to press to toggle and it doesn't seem to be this we can search it doesn't seem to be this um, flowing view so it's so on the ipad 11 it's just the list and the icon view so let's go into the icon view um icons the icons here they look bigger and seems like we have more space here as well now let's go into the landscape orientation okay so for landscape orientation this sidebar here looks like it's similar in size and here on 12.9 we can see more content here the content or the icons they are cropped off in list view we can see the files some of the files are cropped up so you will be able to see more files on the 12.9 just that with the 11 inch you have to scroll to be, to be able to see all the files and we have the this um, multi-list view here and for some reason when i click on this button it gives me the search and let's go into the search to show you the difference in the keyboard so 
Now the keyboard, the keys for the keyboard look the same as in the size for the keys are the same but there are some missing keys here so the this row of numbers here they are gone on the 11 inch and there is no way to turn the numbers back on so to type numbers you have to switch from the alphabets to the numbers so this keyboard is actually quite similar to the keyboard on the iPhone and I see some missing keys as well on the right side so the brackets uh, the colon quotes angled brackets and uh, those are missing so we don't have the square brackets the colon quotes and uh, the angled quotes but the question mark is still there and the comma and the full stop is still there and the buttons here they are slightly smaller in terms of width but the height is the same the typing experience on both ipads um, it's definitely going to be more comfortable to type on this and also much faster to type on this because you don't have to switch between alphabet and numbers and a lot of these uh, common keys are still here so with this you have to switch between the alphabet and number and also it looks like the keyboard on the 11 inch it takes up a significantly larger area compared to the size of the display so for the 12.9 inch you can still see a lot more of the content and now let's play some videos so let's go into youtube using the app and we'll compare youtube on the web page so the design looks the same we have three by two but on the 12.9 we can see more content here at the bottom because there is more resolution the icons are also bigger let me play a video let, let me play my video so that there's no copyright issue so this is how videos look like on the smaller player the size difference is actually not that significant so i don't think you are missing out if you get the smaller 11 inch uh, ipad pro and we see a lot more resolution here so we see a lot more content here the comments are cropped off here the icons are bigger here let me uh, enlarge this and see what's the difference so now you can see that the video here it has more vertical height and obviously it's going to be wider as well but the size um, both videos are still quite large just that on the 12.9 inch the video is larger and also when you take a look at the captions here you can see the captions are in this uh, bottom area here where the black bar is but here the text actually overlaps the video okay let's go into oops let's go into this um, vertical mode the vertical orientation so same thing except now we have more black bars at the top and bottom let me minimize the player okay so here for youtube the the layout is different is it different oh, okay i think i pressed the details so the layout is slightly different in the sense that you can see more content here the icons are smaller which is why you can see more content but the text is the same so legibility is the same and the comments well the text for the comments are about the same size so it's just the main difference really is how much how many more icons you can see and the larger uh, video here this is actually significantly larger compared to the ipad 11 when both tablets are in the vertical orientation okay uh, let me try and go to the youtube website 
on Safari. So YouTube on Safari looks like this. The layout is very similar, except the icons here are larger. And I can see that they tried to scale everything up um, proportionally. So you see this bottom row here, part of the icons are cropped off and here as well cropped off. But the size of the text, it's the same. This is actually, I think, the mobile version. So let me try and go into the... Um, oh, this is actually the desktop version. It's not the mobile version. So the most obvious difference here is the sidebar here is visible, but the sidebar here, you actually have to press this button here to show the sidebar. But the layout here, again, pretty much similar, but in landscape orientation, we can see more icons. Okay, let's go into multitasking mode. Let's put a window on the side here. Okay, so when it comes to showing two windows side by side, um, it definitely feels like you can see more content and you can see more on the 12.9 inch. So here we can see uh, some additional icons here at the bottom and here the number of files, again we can see more files here. So when it comes to multitasking, it's going to be better. It's going to feel better on the 12.9 inch. So as I move this uh, window to the right side to make it smaller, I can see that um, this web page, youtube.com, it's showing more content. And here it's still showing the two by two. And the layout for the files app, I mean this space, the space that's taken up by the files app, it looks similar on both tablets. So it's just the layout that's different here. Okay, so for the web page, we can still see two columns here. And we can only see one column here and a lot of the photo is actually cropped off. So basically what this says is uh, when it comes to multitasking, you're probably going to get a better experience on the iPad Pro 12.9. But if you are always uh, working on a single app, as in one app at a time, uh, I don't think you are missing out if you get the 11 inch. The added advantage or benefit is this is significantly lighter. So if you want to use this outdoors and hold it in one hand, it's going to be less, way less tiring with the 11 inch. All right, so I guess that's it for this video. Okay, so in this um, icon mode, it looks like we have more space at the top and bottom. The spacing is the same, the size for the text is the same, um, at least from what I can tell. So again, not a lot of difference, at least with this particular view. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. See ya.